Hey Curl Friends, I'm Bianca Renee, you're watching Bianca Renee today, and today I'm finally going to review some products that I've been neglecting on my shelf. You might have seen me talk about these quickly on YouTube or on Instagram, but today we're getting a full video on Briogeo. Briogeo has been around for a long time, but I actually don't think I have a full video on them, which is kind of crazy. This was like maybe the second, yeah. I think it was the second brand I've ever tried in my curly hair journey. And then I found Diva Curl and I kind of just like only used Diva Curl. <laughs> That's a different story. But Riojo did start off with their Curl Charisma line for curly hair. This is like their OG line, but they now have branched out into cooler scents and bottles and everything else like that. So these are their superfoods shampoo and conditioner, as well as their Be Gentle, Be Kind, that's in French, avocado and kiwi mega moisture superfood mask. So in today's video, I'm gonna try this shampoo, this conditioner, this deep conditioner, and then style my hair with the Curl Charisma cream and gel. Let's get started. Starting off in the shower on hair that definitely needs to be washed. I'm going to rinse it real quick and then apply the Briogeo Superfoods Mango and Cherry Balancing Smoothie. Oh yeah, this shampoo smells so good. It smells like a fruit drink that you're gonna wanna like stick a straw on, but don't do that. And it does give you a nice lather, which you know I like. All of the Briogeo products are sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. This shampoo is a nutrient-rich, fruit juice-inspired smoothie for all hair types. It harnesses the power of papaya enzymes to help balance oil production and antioxidant-rich fruits to support healthy-looking hair and scalp. After I rinsed it out, my hair did not feel stripped. It just felt nice and clean. But now I'm going to apply my conditioner. This is the Briogeo Superfoods Mango Cherry Balancing Conditioner. This is claiming to be a creamy smoothie texture conditioner. And that is so true, legit feels, smells, and looks like a fruit smoothie. This is also claiming to work for all hair types. This one could legit be a Jamba Juice smoothie. If you put a Jamba Juice smoothie and this conditioner by my nose, I would not be able to tell you which one was the smoothie and which one was the conditioner. That's how good this smells. Once I smoothed in the conditioner on both sides, I started to detangle, and it does detangle very well. I was able to detangle all of my hair just with my finger. So on the detangling slip scale, I would give it like a solid eight. It was very good at detangling, and I like the ingredients. Now I'm going to rinse this out and now apply my deep conditioner. This is the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Super Food Mask. So when you open it, you'll see that it's actually green and it also has a very fruity scent. I think this one kind of smells like a Starburst. Yeah, it's giving me like a pink Starburst smell, which obviously smells really good. Now this feels like it has amazing slip. I'm almost mad that I detangled all of my hair because I kind of feel like this would do a really good job of detangling because of how quickly and gently it just slid through my hair. Could be because I already detangled, but I just love the consistency of this mask. I would definitely put this mask in my top mask for curly hair. Once my hair has now a thick layer of this mask, I'm going to put it up and away under a shower cap and let it sit for at least 15 minutes. One thing I do wanna mention about this deep conditioner is like the packaging is cute, it's green and all, but it doesn't give you any information on here. So I can't see the ingredients. It doesn't tell me how to apply it. It doesn't tell me how long to keep it in. So yes, I can go to the website, but if I'm in the shower, I kind of need to know now and I don't have my phone on me in the shower. So I wish there was more instructions on this package in particular. All the other products do have the usage the ingredients, how to use it. So I wish it was on this one. It might've been on a sticker here or something, but yeah, something permanent would be nice, especially for people that are just starting out their curly hair journey. Now let's go to me applying my stylers. Once I rinsed it all out, we are now at this point right here. My curls do feel nice, moisturized, freshly washed. Now let's add in some more moisture with the Briogeo Curl Charisma rice amino and avocado leave-in defining cream. So it says leave-in in here, but it actually is a cream styler that I have used before. I haven't used these in a long time, to be honest. Not for any particular reason, I just often can't go back and use products that I love because I have to try more new products and I only wash my hair once a week. <laughs> 
but ooh, ooh, these smell very, very refreshing. It's a light smell or scent, but it smells really good. It's gonna look at this, rake it through just a little bit, and then I'll put a little bit more on this side. These Brioche products are not cheap, but they have really good ingredients. Rake it through, rake it through. This is a six fluid ounce squeeze bottle. No sulfates, no silicone, no paraben. And that goes for all Briogeo products. So I love a line where I could just be like, all their products are sulfate, paraben, silicone free. Versus like, well this one is, but this one's not. It gets kind of complicated. So I just love when I can recommend the entire line. There's that. This is the Briogeo Curl Charisma Rice Amino Quinoa. Sounds yummy. Frizz Control Gel. Now this is like a, if I remember, a light whole gel. I don't remember this getting too like hard or crunchy, which I know a lot of you prefer, but I like hold. So it's been a while since I used this. This is definitely a refresher for me. Kind of risky for me to do this on a day I have an event tonight, but here we are. It's not sticky at all. It almost feels like a watery type gel. Very, very light feeling. Let's see what it says on the back. Infuse with rice amino acids, quinoa extract, and tomato fruit ferment extract to boost definition for a vibrant, under control curls with a lightweight, flexible hold. That's what I thought. Yep, it does recommend using the cream first. So we did it correctly. Now to get more volume, I like to flip my head upside down. Looking like the girl from the ring coming out of your TV. And especially if you have bangs, you have to do this step and scrunch forward like this. That'll give you that big lion-esque main volume. All right, so honest opinion right now, I'm a little nervous <laughs> about doing this on a day where I need good day one hair because I did deep condition and then I added a cream and then I added a light hold gel on top of the cream. So I'm probably adding more gel than I'm supposed to, but I just really need some hold. Really need it today. And I want this to dry nicely and quickly. I think we're good. Okay, I'm gonna let this air dry. I think I'm gonna run to probably CVS and look for a foundation for my next foundation Friday. So I'm gonna let it air dry for a little bit, then I'll come back and diffuse before my event tonight. I'll come back cuter with makeup, and we'll see the final results. And I'm back, a little bit more glam than before. My hair is now completely dry, and it looks really good, especially for day one. Like, look at these curls. Like, that is what I'm talking about. Look at the ringlets. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. There's another good one. Oh, oh yes. All right, but I wanna fluff it out. It's probably gonna get a little frizzy because I want it to be really big for this event I'm going to. I don't think I really need to diffuse because it's it's dry. Oh yes. Oh yes. I don't know if I've ever showed this to you guys, but I do the this little like stretching motion to kind of quickly stretch out my curls and separate them to create more volume. Ooh. Yes, now we're talking. Now, don't mind this little frizz here. This is literally my postpartum mom bangs that just like to annoy me, but I don't wanna wear my hair today. The middle part, that's pretty cute. I don't even have time for lipstick right now. I might show you my hair again when I get back home, but just wanted to show you where we are now. I'll be back. And I'm back again, and that's how we got to this part right here. Truth is, I'm actually filming this after a very long day. It is currently almost midnight. So this is kind of like a wear test of the product to show you how my hair looks after several hours of wear out in the world. So what do we think? I think it looks really good. I have always known Briogeo to be a great brand with great products. They're black owned, they're now at Sephora and Ulta. They are a little bit pricier. They're not, you know, drugstore pricing, but at least you're getting some good ingredients. And I also have really pretty results. Like I mentioned in my previous video, if you haven't seen it, make sure you go back and watch my video from last Sunday, where I talk about like the pricing of curly hair products. Yes, these aren't cheap. The Curl Charisma Cream, leave-in defining cream is $20. This is a six ounce bottle. Then the gel is also $20, six ounces. The shampoo is $28, the conditioner is $28, but on the Briogeo website right now, you can get both for $49. 
little bit of savings there. Or you can get the shampoo, the conditioner, and the hair mask for $80, which is a $94 value. So it's cool to have some little package deals on the website. I'm not sure if that sale is also going on at Sephora or Ulta. But also on the website it says, buy two hair masks, get 10% off with code MASK10. So I don't know how long that little sale is gonna go for. This video isn't sponsored, so I don't have a code to give you guys. If you let me get sponsored videos, I probably could get one. But give it a try, see if it works. And then this little mask on its own, is $38. <sighs> hair masks are getting expensive, guys. And hair masks is something that you use like a lot of and I like really drench my hair in it. This is a bomb mask though. So, I mean, if you're gonna spend $38, you need to really wow me and this mask does wow me. So I would say that this is worth the splurge if you're thinking about it. I kind of like the little like combo deal they got going on, so maybe do that if you're gonna spend the money. But overall, Briogeo is a great brand with amazing ingredients, black owned, and I'm really happy for them to be able to get into both Sephora and Ulta. But let me know what you guys think of these products. Have you tried the Curl Charisma line? Do you like their Superfoods line? Have you smelled them? Because they smell amazing. Would you spend $38 on a hair mask if it's worth it? Leave all your thoughts below. And if you enjoy my videos, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.